Has there ever come a time or have you realized when a person comes around, is, what I've noticed is this what I've been through. Anything I say is what I've been through. I'm not saying what other people go through or anything like that. This is my experience, my testimony, you know, that I put for other people to learn from or to realize that this may be happening to you. So, and I leave my email in the description. Um, when a person come around, I've noticed when a person come around, they have an energy with them. And in the spirit, it may be demonic, it may be good. But in this case, we're talking about, I'm talking about how to recognize, you know, when the person that you know that you shouldn't be around, you know what I'm saying? Or you should exit left stage to right stage, you understand what I mean? Because if a person comes with this nervous thing and it makes you nervous, you know you should leave. Because the person is, don't sit there and try to cast out or whatever the case may be. Unless you're doing some maybe washing clothes or whatever and you can't leave. And you sit there in your mind, you praise God. You maybe put on um, uh, one of your pastors who speak truth about the Bible and God. You put that on, put it in the air. And you will see those people will disappear or just shut up completely. Um, more than likely they just leave because the power that they're using is not strong enough to go back with God so they leave um, not saying they won't come back but they're most definitely going to come back because Satan is, rel is relentless you know so a um, person comes with this anger thing and you feel like in your chest like fear because you don't want to go out and cause harm to anybody. But you feel like, wait a minute, what is this? That's the spirit of fear. Why else? In the word, you, in the word it says we should be living with liberty. You understand what I mean? Free to do what we want. You understand what I mean? If people feel like they can will what they want to will, you know. No. Nah. There's only one will and it's God's. You understand what I mean? And it's in the word how we should live amongst each other. And what's going to happen when Satan and the third of the angels come and tempt the people and cast them in, into hell. You know. I'm washing clothes right now, so I had to pause the video. You know. But where I left off was, I believe, um, the spirit of fear, the spirit of violence, where people come around with this anger, or normally what I notice is when people come around with this right here, it makes me want to leave. That's the spirit saying, get away from that person. Because the person has come to attack you spiritually. That's what they came to do, you know. Now, if you have the right scriptures memorized, like I don't, you know, but God is still going to be there fighting for us, you know what I'm saying, but we got to sharpen our sword, we have the, you know, the salvation, you know, hit the helmet of salvation, you know, the belt of truth and everything like that, we got to really do that, you know what I'm saying, the sword is the word, and, and God said that you send his words out, he's not going to have them void, you understand what I mean, that's what the word is for, he's not going to have that word void, you know, but you have to be ready, because when you go for battle, <laughs> it's real. It's a spiritual battle. You know, they may hit you in the financial, financially. You may end up homeless and everything. This is a whole part of it. You understand what I mean? That's how some people figure it to be easy to do wrong. It's hard to do right. And to keep on with it and be relentless like Satan is relentless. But you notice that and you get this feeling that this, this person is angry. You, you get it right here in the heart. It's like, whoa, okay. Let me get away from this person. And then maybe observe. And the person is going to find themselves to try to come back around. Or that person is going to disappear. And then you wait for the next act to come in 
to take that person's place because they follow you around everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? If you're truly being persecuted, they follow you around everywhere you go. They probably got about like five people, ten people, maybe more than that, to come and replace that person. And the colors they normally have is black, gray, black and white. You know, they have gray in now. Let's put that. Because the color of black and white blended together makes gray. So they're going to have a gray car, black and white, or black and gray clothes on. You just people like. And then that red has a play. You know, yellow, all those colors. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, that can do 